Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 123 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you some tips on using a tool overlay in Lightroom. Now, specifically, the tool overlay concerns the graduated filter, the radial filter, and the brush. For this demonstration, I'm going to put a graduated filter on this image. So I'm going to go over here to the tool panel and the graduated filter is right there. Now I want to do a very subtle adjustment to this image. So I'm going to go with shadows and I'm going to open them up a bit. As I look at the image, of course the sun was over here so it looks brighter on this side but it's kind of dark over here. So I want to brighten it up on this side. So I'm just going to put this kind of graduated, graduated filter that goes diagonally through the image like that. And as I mentioned, I'm just opening up the shadows a bit, so it's going to be a very subtle adjustment. Now, a lot of times the overlay comes into play because it helps you see exactly what you're doing, where, to your image. Meaning, as the image is now, you could see that we have this, this graduated filter on here. But if I hover over this little button here, you'll see I get this kind of red film going over the top of the image. And that's showing me where this graduated filter is affecting the image and how much it's affecting the image. Now, instead of just hovering over this button, you could toggle this on and off by down here in the toolbar. You'll see down here is a toolbar. If you don't see this bar, hit the T key on your keyboard. It toggles that toolbar on and off. And over here, you'll see there's a little checkbox, Show Selected Mask Overlay. We just click there and it will show it. Now, if you don't feel like going down there and clicking that box, you could just hit the O key on your keyboard and it toggles the overlay on and off. Now, that overlay is red. You could actually change the color of that overlay. And there's a couple different ways you could do that. The easiest way, in my opinion, is just to hold the Shift key in and hit the O key. If you do that once, you'll get green. If you do it a second time, you'll get white. And if you do it a third time, you'll get black. And then you do it again, and you'll cycle back to the red. The other way to do that is go up to the top Tools menu, then down to Adjustment Mask Overlay, and you can choose red, green, white, or black. So that's you know some quick ways that you could see the overlay and what color you want to see when you turn on the overlay. Now, why do you want the overlay? Well, I mentioned that. It just gives you an idea of what the tool is affecting where on your image and where that effect is being applied on your image. The other thing is if you're using a very subtle adjustment like I am, it makes it a little more difficult even to see what you're doing and where it's happening. So you might like to put that overlay on. The, probably the primary reason why I like to see the overlay is Especially with a graduated filter, I don't want the filter to affect everything. I just want it to affect the sky and not the buildings. And with latter versions of Lightroom, you now have the ability to paint away the effect where you don't want it. And with the graduated filter, if you look right here, it says Mask, and it says New Edit and Brush. What you would do is you would click Brush, and then you would click the Erase Brush. And what it will do is it will just erase the effect from where you don't want it. And I don't want it on these buildings. So having the overlay on really helps me see what I'm doing and where I'm doing you know, the brush too. Now I'm just going to go real quick. Get a big brush here. And of course, if you're doing this yourself, I would expect that you're going to do a nice careful job. So having this overlay active allows me to see very quickly where the graduated filter is affecting the image and where I need to paint to get rid of the effect. So there's a really horrible job of getting rid of the effect. Now I could turn the overlay off by hitting the O key on the keyboard again and then I could turn it uh, the graduated filter itself on and off by hitting this little switch down here and there's before and there's after. Now you can see even though I did a really lousy brush job getting rid of the effect. You could see that it nicely is just affecting the sky and not the buildings. So that's some tips on utilizing tool overlays and how you could change the color, 
turn it on and off very easily, and then why you might want to use it just to see a very subtle adjustment where it's affecting your image and or if you need to remove the adjustment from parts of the image, you could turn that overlay on and it helps you see where you need to paint to paint away the effect. So that's it for episode 123. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.